What's up everyone, my name is Nagark. Welcome to a new series. This is going to be Guild of Dungeoneering. I, it has an amazing intro song, but it's a bit too long for me to keep. So I, I highly suggest looking it up. It's hilarious. But Guild of Dungeoneering, it is a turn-based dungeon crawler that you basically build the dungeon around your dungeoneers as they go. <clears throat> and you build the dungeon and put stuff in it for your dungeoneer to go fight. And you have certain objectives for each map to get into. I have been playing it a bit. I've been looking forward to this for months because it has looked amazing. I'm just going to start a new game. There is going to be some music, so there will be parts that I have to be quiet for it. But it's totally worth it. Oh, yep, not, not going to that one. We're going to go to slot two. This is the guild of Dungeoneering all across the land. They're cheering, oh, to be a Dungeoneer, chasing fame and glory. There we go. There's our first song of the game, besides the intro screen. All right, the Ivory League of Explorers, the noblest, most virtuous guild in the land. Pfft, those insufferable jerks. I'll show them. They won't think me so grossly incompetent when I have my own guild. I've bought a small hall in the bad part of town with the gold I borrowed from them. I've staked out a dungeon that's ripe for the picking. I've even found a chump who can do all the dirty work while I sit back and watch the coins roll in. Like my father always told me, there's always someone stupider than yourself. Well, he never really said it to me. Actually, he said it to everyone but me. Hey, wait a minute. Alright, so, this is our little guild of dungeoneering. And we are given... Oh, we need to hire some dungeoneers, so let's build a barracks. Excuse me for my throat, I might have to clear my throat a little bit throughout this. A new dungeoneer has arrived. The one that's always left behind. The solitary lump. The pawn whose fodder for the grind. The sorry little chump. The sorry little chump. <laughs> Alright, so we got ourselves a chump. We can rename this chump. And it is a female. So I'm just going to call this one... Uh, chump at. Uh, what I plan on doing is actually going through some of my videos in the past and finding, um, people that have commented or just going through my subscriber list and all of that and just throwing your names in there. So if you want your name to be, uh, one of my Dungeoneers at some point, just leave a comment on this video or, you know, just say, like, if you want a Dungeoneer to be named something specific, just leave a comment be like, I want it to be named... Uh, Butts McGee, and I will see that, and I will try my damnedest to make a Dungeoneer named Butts McGee. So, what we have to do here is we have to go exploring. Because that's the whole point. Alright, so this is our first adventure. Rats, how original. Quest 1 is Squeak Squeak. Everybody's gotta start somewhere, so we are gonna take our chump into this dungeon. And it's actually gonna play our first hand for us. Just to sort of teach us how things work. Alright, so it's going to play our first hand for us. You, I'll explain how everything plays out a little bit more when I actually have control over it. Because it does sort of just throw it into... throw you straight into the game. And this is combat. It doesn't do combat for us. But I will explain that right now. So basically, each turn, the enemy is going to have a card that they play. And I'm going to have a card that I get to play. So we initially draw three cards. And this is a one physical damage card, also one physical damage card, and this is a block one uh, physical or magic damage card. So I'm going to punch the ducky, and it's going to take one health off. His card right now does one physical damage to me, and takes one damage himself. So what I could do is I could block his one physical damage, and he will lose one health. So I would take nothing, and he would take the one damage, or I could punch him, and he will take two damage, and I will take one damage. And I think I'm just going to punch him. <laughs> okay, this is, he's going to do two damage to me, and I'm going to, he's going to take one damage. So, I'm going to block one of those damage, so I only take one, and he's going to take his self-inflicted damage. And at the end of each battle, we are given a choice of three treasure cards, and it shows you which cards you're going to get when you pick this, uh, when you pick these items. So I think I want to take Slice, which is going to give my deck a two physical damage card. 
So I'm gonna have a fork for a weapon here. And then we got the gold coin. Okay, so now each turn we have five cards down here which are totally random. I've had it where I only get one uh, tile build and like four monsters. So what we can do is we can drag and see where we have where we're able to place things. So let's say I want a corridor here so we can actually walk up to these enemies. And our objective right now is to defeat three monsters. So I can just sort of build up the dungeon how I want it. And my dungeoneer is going to go towards this rat. You can see the little thing. And if I wanted to, I could actually uh, sort of convince them to go a certain way with gold coins. So if I want them to go to the left rat, well, there's a reward for going over there. And we only get to play three cards each turn. Squeak, squeak, squeak. So we're going to come over here. I'm actually going to place a giant bat and see if I can get my dungeoneer to go down there at some point so we aren't just fighting a bunch of rats. But we got another nasty rat. This one has 5 health. Alright, so Neurotoxin. He's gonna do one physical damage and if I take that one physical damage I'm gonna discard one of my three cards and I don't want that so I'm actually going to block that. So nothing happens here. Alright, he's gonna do one physical damage unblockable so I cannot use this to block the damage. So I'm just going to punch him with my lucky hit. He's going to take two, I'm going to take one. Alright, one damage, that's fine. I'm going to do two damage to him. And let's see, one damage unblockable, that's fine. And we do heal up in between battles. So that's something that I don't actually have to worry about. I do like the wooden stool because it gives you uh, the three repel uh, card. So I'm going to be taking the wooden stool which is sort of like a shield thing. Okay, and yeah, my person's just gonna go for the rat, so I'm gonna block the way with a giant bat because I want to fight something other than just rats and a duck. And after we beat this little critter, we should... Oh, this one has a special effect, Loner. If it's in a dead end on the map, then it has uh, one less health. So, had I put it in a dead end, then it would have had less health. Uh, I'm gonna just use the stupid... Uh, stupidity card, the uh card, which doesn't let me do anything just because I want it out of my hand. This one is actually, it has one physical block, so if I tried to attack, I wouldn't do any damage, so I'm just going to block his one attack. This one is a drain effect. He's going to do one magic damage, and for every damage he does, he's going to get one hit point back, and I don't want him healing, so I'm going to block that one too. Let's see, oh yeah, there's another, there's another one, another one of those. So I'm going to take one damage, and he's going to take nothing, because I did one and he healed one. I'm going to punch him for two. And I'm going to win. Okay, good. How shameful would it be to lose on the tutorial level? Nice. Here's to you, young Dungeoneer. You stood your ground and acted very brave. But how long before you feel the fear? And how long before you're in your grave? <laughs> Great, so that is basically the very, very start of the Guild of Dungeoneering. I am going to have to go look at uh, the names that I'm going to be throwing into the game. So like I said, leave your comments below. Tell me what you want someone to be named. If you don't leave a specific name, then just I'll, I'll use the best version of your name that I can think of. And in the next episode, we are going to actually expand our guild with some of these fancy things that is going to give me better Dungeoneers than just these stupid little, these stupid little chumps. Anyways, my name is Nagark. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Subscribe to the channel to watch a whole bunch of Dungeoneering because I'm hoping to do a full playthrough of it, even though I know it's going to take a really long time.